morning from Lima. The sun is just starting to come up and I've just left my hotel in the Miraflores district, setting out on a journey across Peru with the first stop being the Paracas Desert. I'll be traveling in the country with a hop on hop off bus service called Peru Hop. More about that later, but right now I have to find my pickup spot at another hotel about two blocks away. Well, it was about a two and a half hour drive from Lima to get here, but I've arrived in the town of Paracas, which uh, of course is on the Paracas Peninsula and is part of the Paracas National Reserve. And of course, it is a starting point for people who come here to visit the Balestas Islands, which is often described as a miniature version of Ecuador's Galapagos Islands, a place I'll be visiting first thing in the morning. As you would expect, everything here revolves around the ocean front, and the town has a very pleasant malecon or esplanade that is several blocks long and is where most of the restaurants serving seafood and whatever else are located. But the vibe is very relaxed and uh, very pleasantly cool, I might add. It's uh, the ideal place to come to the ocean if you don't intend to get in the water. Bright blue sunshine and a nice cool breeze. I like that. Besides tourism, there's no doubt about what this town's other primary preoccupation is. That is fishing. I've come down to one end of the harbor where all of the fishing boats seem to be assembled. And as you can tell, perhaps, there are quite a few of them. And uh, that tells me there's lots of fresh seafood in town. This fish is... This what? Caracol. Caracol, yes. And more. Ah, muy bien. Cerrosa, no. Mira, Fran. Fran. Well, a fresh catch just came in. And uh, the gentleman was showing me the lobster. And there's four more large bags of it on that hand cart, which they appear to be trying to uh, figure out how to load into the rather small car trunk. Well, for two soles, or about 50 cents US, I've just paid for the privilege to enter the fishing pier, which appears to be where the catch is coming in. Ah, muy rico. Is to you? Eh, bueno, gracias. Well, this gentleman has something else he wants to show me. Oh, que bueno. Como se llama? Concha. Concha, por supuesto. Concha de abanico. Sí. De, de qué? Abanico. Abanico. Es una especialidad. Sí, rico, eh. Esta es la que hacen en concha la parmesana. Comida italiana. Ah, sí. Bien, bien. Ya. These guys have been out all day on the boat, I'm sure, probably since early morning. And 
I'm fairly sure that at least some of that catch is going to be on somebody's plate tonight. There seems to be a, a pecking order of eateries along this Malecon. There are the ones that uh, have a little nicer looking cafes and uh, waitresses walking around with uh, little credit card machines. And then there are those back uh, toward the other end of where I am. They're just simple. It's a cash pay. They're uh, semi-primitive restaurants. But you know what? The fish comes from the same place. And as I've observed, I can't tell the difference in what's on the table. And I succumbed to one of these little beachside huts, but I thought I'd wait to have seafood tonight, so I'm having some pollo a la plancha, some fries and rice and a salad, and uh, a bottle of dark cuscania, which uh, is the perfect elixir for an afternoon in Paracas. So let me dig in and turn the camera on. You can see why people from Lima come down to the Paracas Peninsula for, especially for getaway weekends. It's sunny almost every day here, uh, as opposed to uh, Lima, and yet it's cool. So it's just the perfectly invigorating climate to uh, drop into town and chow down on seafood. Well, it's a gray overcast morning, but I'm back at the pier this time to leave for the islands, the Alastus Islands. This uh, boat trip is supposed to be about 30 minutes. It's a speedboat, and uh, we won't actually go on the islands, that's prohibited. But the boat's able to uh, go close to shore, and we hope to get a great look at some of the wildlife here. Among them are lots of fur seals and sea lions, and among the birds there's one species of booby out of the six species in the world. This is the, the blue booby, with blue feet, supposedly. Come on the boat with We say hi to the little puppy that follow us half Most people really want to see are the Humboldt seals, which usually stay at a distance, I'm told, from visitors. They're at the top ridges, uh, but uh, maybe we'll be fortunate and be able to spy some. Well, they say the world's a small place. I'm headed out to the islands on a boat off the coast of Peru and the person sitting next to me, whose name is Tracy, lives 10 miles from me. Hi! That's Tracy from Portland. Well, I would say we're flipping along at about 20 knots, that's just a guess. This is a pretty fast boat, so we should be approaching one of the islands in another 15 minutes or so. This entire area is part of the Paracas <laughs> National Reserve, which is, uh, of course, covers much of the Paracas Peninsula, but also includes a, the majority of it is uh, underwater. It's a marine preserve. And uh, just looking out to my right, and just uh, maybe or maybe not beyond the marine preserve is an oil refinery with uh, a pier in the ocean.
Es la primera referencia escrita acerca de él para el 1863. This gigantic geoglyph that you're seeing uh, is called the candelabra, uh, and it's a relic of the Paracas culture. Archaeologists say it dates to 200 BC, and there's all sorts of speculation about what it is or what purpose it served, but the bottom line, it remains a mystery. The left, you go the right side of the boat, the right side can stand up if you want. You go the right can stand up, you go the left, please sit up. Yeah, if you go to the left, you can connect the little piece of the two or one from down to the ocean, I think, carries and waves, things, this way. But it's good for the sea because it's got a little bit of the island. island. Up close to an island. And along the ridge line, uh, in, in the distance, are tons of humbled penguins. And that tends to make that uh, the projectile go out. Because of harsh scatters and reformation, they call to this island as the Cross Fall Island or Balistra's Island in Spanish. I love it, Alas. Arriba unos corporales guanay, dos blancos y negros corporales guanay, de donde guay, macho. We got a white rich boy Sarson one I can pass. And let's see ahead my friends into the cover. Yeah. So we have an arch ahead. On top there is a little cover. Yeah. Into the cover there are two hundred pinwheels. And then there are two on the right close to black birds. There are two black birds on the level those black birds, there are two hundred pinwheels. Then arriba you guys have many negras, puntitas, so no witness. A costado de las alas hay que mirar el combo. As we're drifting closer now to a, a huge rock outcrop, there are a couple of sea lions hanging off the edge of the rocks. Well, maybe you've been that close to a sea lion at the zoo, but in the wild, that's something special.
Night falls like a soft curtain in Paracas. Slowly, gently, beautifully.